Okay, I was asked to do a little tutorial on Gaz's um, spreadsheet for the Blood Moon Horde Generator. Um, it is definitely more complicated than when I was playing with it a couple versions ago, but basically you go to the forums, you go to the modding tools section, you see find Gaz's post, and you click on Google Spreadsheet. It is absolutely vital at this point, what you do is you do it once you open it, because this is his working copy, um, is you do file and then make a copy. So I'm just going to copy it over. I'm going to call it uh, Guppy Tutorial, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to save it to my drive. What it's going to do is it's going to copy the spreadsheet over to my Google Drive. And then Firefox is going to give me some shit. Because Firefox is an asshole. Uh, let's see. Come on, you can do it. So long story short, now I've got it copied over to my Google Drive. I can edit it. Now you could theoretically save it locally and edit it using um, a spreadsheet software. The problem with that though is he's got some functions in here that only seem to work on the Google Drive docs thing. So you just have to bear with the patience and see this little bar right here and let you know it's loading. It's very, very slow. So as you make a change, you have to wait for that little bar to go away before you make another change. All right, so basically, he's actually listed out what the different tabs are, um, but basically it works, we're going to work backwards because these two are the tabs that we're actually going to copy paste into this, this the actual XML files. Game stages output is actually game stages at XML. Group output is entity groups at XML. So when you look at the game stages, what you would do is you would literally copy this section and then paste it over into the existing section um, for the uh, in, in the XML files. So um, I'm not going to teach you how to do that because if you can't do that, then you probably shouldn't be looking at this more complicated spreadsheet anyway. Um, but all of the spreadsheets, all the tabs call another tab. This tab call, reads from this tab, this tab reads from this tab, this tab reads from this tab, and so forth and so such. So we're going to work backwards here. But if you look, and you happen to be a game stage one, and you get a Blood Horde Moon, um, you're not going to get anything on the because each game stage on the Blood Moon is divided into four sections. You have the first section, the second section, the third section, and then the cleanup section. So um, you're not going to actually get anything on that first wave. You're not going to get anything in the second wave. You are, however, going to get from the group GS1, you're going to get one of them, one at a time, f f for duration one, for that third wave. And then on the cleanup wave, can you get one from from Zombie Knights, which is uh, a, a different entity group? So um, looking at this, going backwards here. So now I want to see what's in Feral Horde Stage GS1, right? So um, when I click it, it tells me a whole complicated ass formula that basically types all this out. But it's basically reading from this group output. When I go to group output, and I'm going to spread it out so you can see it. I know that Feral Horde Stage GS1 contains Zombie Marlene, Zombie Darlene, Zombie Nurse, Zombie Male UMA, Burnt Zombie, Zombie Joe. So basically this is going to pick from this. This one, Game Stage 2, is going to pick, see how it says GS2? From this one, Zombie Steve, Fat Female UMA, whatever, Blob Marlene, yo yo yo. So it keeps on going backwards and backwards. The game stages themselves are controlled by this sheet here, and we're not going to use anything here. Horde stages here are controlled over here, and we're not going to use anything here because all this is pulling from all these other previous things. So I'm going to keep on going backwards. And the goal of this tutorial is to show you how to insert a new zombie and have it show up in your Blood Moon Horde generator. Some math here. Uh, a whole bunch more complicated math here. Um, let's see, zombie types is where we want to kind of start looking at, but even then we don't want to actually edit these zombie types. Because these these zombie types are reading from zombie types console and then the PC. Now we're going to ignore this tab right here because this is for the screamers. He's uh, already started working on the screamer hordes um, randomizing for the PC and uh, we're not going to mess with this though because um, it's not finished yet. This is an A16 feature and we really don't care about it. So we're going back to zombie types. When I look at zombie types, you would think, okay, well, here's all the zombie types. Well, a lot of them repeat. Well, the reason why is because the zombies are separated into three categories. Basically, your easy ones, your middle ones, and then your much harder ones. And you can see a lot of these harder ones kind of repeat. But we also don't want to mess with these either because he's got it set up so, so that you can choose between the PC version 
and the console version to kind of pull to take what you're going to pull from. We're only worried about the PC version, so we're going to ignore this console version too. So we're going to go to types bm dot or bmpc types blood moon pc, and this is where it starts to get interesting because this is where we actually actually want to add uh, zombies to. So we don't want to just add zombies on the end because that's what dumb people do, and we're not dumb. We're going to add them to the respective groups. So if I have an easy zombie and I want it in zombie type in this like these green easier types, I'm going to actually add it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, click here, right click it, insert one above, and then I'm going to look and make sure there's no formulas here. Well, it looks like there's a formula here, so I'm going to go ahead and see what it, see what it does. If A50 is greater than or equal to blank, then row A50 is blank. So I'm not worried about that. Zombie mode is just a name, so I'm going to go ahead and type in a new zombie type, because I made a gum zombie called Gup Zombie. Um, there's nothing in this section here, so I don't need to put anything here. There's nothing in here, I don't need to put anything in here. He's got a dash here, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dash here, or actually because it's a UMA zombie, I'm going to type in UMA. I'm not sure why he's got these differentiated, it could just be for reference, but you know, it is what it is. And then, these are not pulled from a formula either, so I'm just going to type in, you know, whatever the strength of zombie is. So let's say it's a, a, it's a 500 zombie. So, um, but I've got 16 here, and I have a blank, and then I have 17, right? Well, that's not right. So I actually need to make this a 17, and then an 18, and then so forth and so such. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that all the way down. Oops, that didn't work out right. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oops. Let's see if that changes anything. See, alright, so it looks like these zombies are designed to pull from a zombie range of C53. So it looks like this is going to be from. This one to this one's going to be 54, 55, 56, 57. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about these because he's got this extra ultra complicated. All I'm trying to do is add another zombies. But basically, what he's got is he has this list of zombies pulling from these list of zombies. But in order to make that happen, I'd need to change all these formulas, and I just don't feel like doing that. I don't actually like the way he's got this new spreadsheet set up. It's not easier. It's not as easy to work with as the first spreadsheet. But anyway, going back to where we're at. So we have a zombie type gup zombie, right? So is that enough to make it show up in the horde stages? Let's find out. I'm going to do a search, control F, for the word gup. And sure enough, there are 83 references of gup zombie. So I've just successfully added, by editing over here, Adding adding a gup zombie over here, and uh, I've added gup zombie to show up on the horde stages over here. Now what I would basically do is I'd literally take group output, I'd copy and I'd paste this into entity groups at XML. Game stages output, I'd copy and paste into game stages um, that XML. But I probably screwed something up because I moved something up. Let me see if zombie feral shows up. In, in, in here because I kind of when I when I added gump zombie down here I kind of bumped zombie feral to this to type 62 over here so let's see and it looks like zombie feral still exists so I didn't seem to break anything so that's good oh wait uh -uh. that's the feral from over here Zombie Feral. All right, I got 199 of them, so it still actually seems to work. So basically, by making sure that the Blood Moon PC version, I added the zombie into the middle ground type and pushed everything else down, um, it actually ends up showing in horde stages. Now. Something else I was going to look. Oh, yeah, possibly unique here. This randomizes how many unique zombies can show up on the screen at one time. Now, as we all know, the more zombie types you put on the screen, the more texture memory is used. But I, however, like, I have a pretty robust system, and I like to have, like, say, 35 different unique zombie types. 
What's going to do is these are all zombie IDs as, as I'm waiting for it to update. And it's updating and it's updating. Let me get rid of that search bar. And you see this little scroll bar right here? That lets me know that it's actually calculating and changing all the formulas. So now, when I go over to game stages, I'm sorry, group output, I'm going to see more zombie types. And I like it like that. So anyway, um, to recap, make sure that zombie types is set to BMPC, Blood Moon PC. Go into Blood Moon PC, find the group you want to add a zombie in, right click, insert one above, and then add your zombie type there along with the pertinent information. And it should theoretically update all these other, uh, all these other formulas. But again, I haven't taken a real good close look at it, so I'm not sure if something else got bumped as a result. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see, 110, 111. Uh, where am I at? Oh, last row type, 62. This looks like something probably needs to be changed. So row type is 62. So that's last type, okay. Did that get updated when I added one? Let me see if this goes to 63 when I add another one. So insert one above. Oops. Let's see if this changed to last type 63. And it sure does. So he actually has it dynamically updating the rows. So you can actually just go ahead and insert your zombies, uh, different zombie types into the appropriate sections, level one zombies, level two zombies, level three zombies, and then call it a day. Um, really though, since these zombie list just pulls from um, from this zombie list, it's going to be okay to go ahead and just update these two lists. Uh, all right, I gotta go.